Yeah, so if you think about it, data teams forever have been plagued by data downtime incidents. These things that are caused by loss of data or, or incorrect data, late data. And so data observability is the concept about getting visibility over your data ecosystem so that you can actually monitor things like freshness, schema, volume, quality, uh, and the lineage of data from end to end. And not only that, you're actually providing the tools to detect, resolve, and then prevent data incidents. It's a hot trend because we're seeing this direction of, of data teams deliver way more value from, from their uh, cloud warehouse and their, their lakes. Observability becomes absolutely critical at that point to actually maintaining the health of your system. You'll see it become more and more critical as, as data teams approach more machine learning and uh, use cases that are actually driving revenue for the business. Yeah, at the New York Times, we tackled a multitude of challenges. Uh, we had anything from a data product that was used by almost every journalist in the newsroom that had up to the minute data. We had financial data products. We had machine learning data products that were critical levers for subscription growth and ad revenue for the business. Data observability was uh, critical for the teams to actually be able to scale the monitoring and testing required across a, a high volume, high velocity and, and constantly changing data environment and also provide the tools that allow teams to triage, troubleshoot, and ultimately resolve incidents much faster. Yeah, I think uh, you can break down the future into a few different things. One is how you're going to see data observability products evolve, and they'll really evolve with the modern data stack as we tackle issues like streaming data and different applications of data downstream. We'll start to see observability map to that entire ecosystem. I think secondly, you, you've got to look at the organizational changes we'll see, whether it's actually uh, federating ownership of, of data reliability through the organization or creating kind of centralized data reliability or operations teams that are managing many of the incidents for a group. Thirdly, I think you'll just see data observability become a must have for data teams as they start to extend into more machine learning use cases, critical applications for the business that are driving revenue and not simply being used to support decision making. And so without observability, you're un unable to sort of build in that reliability by design and trust into the data system. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate your time. I'm Shane Murray.